you have ideas on how you want to create some content, but you're not really sure how to schedule creating that content so that you can actually be consistent. In this video, I'm going to talk about some key ideas and ways that creators schedule their content to make sure that they actually have a plan for how they will go about creating their content and getting it published on a consistent basis. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dawn. That's right. Let's get into talking all about content schedule and what that looks like. What does it look like or what does it really mean when you are trying to create a schedule for your content? Well, depending on the kind of content you're creating, it might mean a couple of different things, but these tips are going to help you no matter what kind of content you're creating. The very first thing, no matter what kind of content you're creating or what platform you are on, you have to schedule the time for your content. Just like you schedule work or school or a sport event, you have to schedule time to actually create your content. And a lot of things that people sometimes forget is all of the tasks associated with that creation as well. Are you going to create a YouTube video? Well, that includes all of the recording the video, actually uploading it to YouTube, depending on the length of the video, that might take some time. And you have to account for the time that you'll spend creating a thumbnail, creating the title, typing in any information about the video itself, and potentially any time that you'll spend promoting the video. Now, there are tons of different resources that you can use to keep track of your scheduling, and that's going to vary person to person depending on what works best for you. Some people might use a paper calendar, might use something like Google calendars, things just put in your phone, maybe even something like this. This is the calendar that I tend to use. And one thing that I like about this for me personally is I like that I can use multiple colors so I can differentiate between different tasks. I can easily change things. And this sits right outside of my computer room door, which is actually at the top of the stairs. So every time I go up the stairs or I'm entering the room to get to work, I can visually see this and it's always there to give me a reminder of the things that I have to do. I've seen people who also may use note cards of varying colors. You can write different tasks and pin them to a wall, tape it onto a wall, and also be able to easily move them around based on where you're at with a task or remove it once you're done. Again, there are tons of different ways that you can actually go about putting tasks to a schedule. My advice there is definitely just to try a lot of things out. If it doesn't feel like it's working, don't be afraid to try something else. Being able to actually create something like this that you will use is going to help you be a lot more consistent with your content. One thing that you might see a lot from creators is talking about content batching. So content batching is when you do tasks together. This might look a little bit different depending on what your schedule looks like, what kind of content you're creating, but for example, this can be something like spending a half a day or a full day and doing only filming, but you might film multiple videos all in that same day. And then another time you might have scheduled to start editing some of that, and you might edit multiple projects in the same chunk of time. Again, this is something that might not work for everyone, especially depending on your schedule, whether you are trying to do content around your work or family life, and you might not have as big chunks of time to do this kind of thing. So you might have to look at following a similar pattern, but if you don't have as much time and you're not creating as much content, you can still use the concept, but say you record the video on Monday, you edit on Tuesday, you do thumbnail title and description information along with the uploading on Wednesday. Again, there's a lot of different ways to do content batching, so it's just going to have to be a matter of figuring out what works for you. But this is definitely a hot topic and something that a lot of creators talk about. 
kind of like I just said, you can schedule daily tasks as well, such as breaking apart Monday for video, Tuesday for editing, or whatever it is that you need to do for your content. If you're writing a blog post, for example, you can do a rough draft one day, the next day can be going through and editing, third day can be adding in images, however it is that you need to break apart the tasks to make it all work. People get in the rut of feeling like they have to sit down and do an entire project all at the same time. And in my experience, this can lead to very inconsistent content. You're going to feel very pressured to get things done as soon as you sit down and it might lead to burnout because you're staying up very late or you're extending yourself too far with trying to make sure you get it all done at once. The opposite could be true if you don't have the motivation or the focus to sit down and do the same project over multiple days. That can also lead to issues because maybe you just end up feeling like you don't want to finish it. You're not enjoying it. It's something that you just don't want to do. And that can also lead to inconsistencies in getting content actually out into the public eye. Again, creating a schedule and scheduling these tasks is going to help you be able to actually figure out what's going to work for you to be able to keep consistent with your content. Now, if you've tried doing content before, I would love to hear in the comments what has worked or not worked for you. Which kind of creator have you tended to be and has it worked? And if this video has been something that you've found helpful so far, I would love if you could give the video a thumbs up so that we can share this with other creators. Let's take a look at setting your boundaries, creating a base level of what you can commit to doing to keep your content consistent is huge. This is really the base level of where you need to start when you are setting up how you will do your content, how often you'll get things done, and overall creating your schedule. How much can you do to fit in with everything else that you might have going on in your life? And how much are you willing to do before you start feeling overwhelmed? Overcommitment is a huge factor for a lot of creators and leads to burnout and ultimately leads to a lot of creators quitting, which doesn't lend to them being successful with their content. Creating a base level of what you find acceptable to get done helps you start creating building blocks for your content and what you can get done. One example of this is if you can only commit to creating one video every week, if you do have time where you're able to sit down and maybe it takes you six hours to do a video from start to finish with the filming, editing, thumbnail, title, all of that, then maybe what works for you is sitting down and getting it all done in one day. If you only have smaller portions of time a couple days a week, then maybe looking at something like filming one day, editing another, and the thumbnails uploading on a third day actually fits a little bit better. But again, looking at how much are you wanting to do, how much is actually reasonable for your schedule. If you are really wanting to make a hard push to go full time or make your content into a business, you might have to look even further at sacrificing other things to be able to put in that commitment. If you're not quite to that point yet, which a lot of people aren't, that's also understandable. And I was even there too. So I had to start by saying, I'm going to, for example, I'm going to make sure that I do five streams every week that are at least four hours each stream. And then I could build around that. Once I got comfortable doing that level of content, I could change it up from there, maybe add in one other smaller thing or one other project. For example, adding in a weekly podcast. Depending on the kind of podcast you're doing, or if you're doing it alone or in a group, then that is also something that might take up less time then another type of content and can give you a feel for the commitments of certain content that you're going to be doing. But 
really overall what this boils down to is creating a baseline of what you're going to be comfortable with and building on that from there. And if you're looking to figure out what kind of content might fit on which platforms so that you can actually account for that when you're looking at your schedules, I definitely recommend you check out this video next.